I can't separate out the way I look, the pains I've been through, and the words that have flowed from my pen into the Constitution. We, the people of South Africa, recognize the injustices of our past, honor those who suffered for justice and freedom in our land, respect those who have worked to build and develop our country, and believe that South Africa belongs to all who live in it, united in our diversity. So many were murdered for those words. I became a lawyer and a freedom fighter for those words. I defended heroes of the movement for those words and landed myself alone in a concrete cell for those words. Nothing can prepare you for the loneliness of solitary confinement. No one to speak to. I sing to hear my own voice. I'll be living here always, year after year, always. In this little cell that I know so well, I'll be living swell. I'll carry some of this loneliness for the rest of my life. When I finally got out, I ran right through the streets of Cape Town until I hit the crashing waves of the sea. There's nothing easy when it comes to the fight for justice. I struggled as a freedom fighter, a husband and a dad, and through it all, I wondered when they would come for me. The exiled South African lawyer, R.B. Sachs, opened his car door and received the full impact of a planted bomb. The booby trap was suspected to be the work of South African agents. His car was meant to be his grave. Miraculously, he did survive. He'd lost the sight in one eye. One arm was amputated. They'd come for me, and all they got was my arm and the sight of one eye. An arm for an arm, an eye for an eye? Was this what we were fighting for? No, no, no. If we get freedom, if we get justice for all, that will be my soft vengeance. It was soft vengeance to type with one finger the founding words of our new nation. Words that would ensure that capital punishment was ended forever. People evicted from their shacks would be given somewhere else to lay their heads. Women beaten by their menfolk could get swift protection. A gay man or lesbian woman could say, I do. It has break the hard soil of hatred and division so that human dignity can shine through in the sunshine of justice. <laughs> 